Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So today I uh, wanted to talk about my my first 24 hours of gameplay on level 60. So currently I have um, slash played, well, I currently have one day and one hour on level 60. And I thought it could be fun to just talk about like what's going on, what I've been doing and in this like amount of gameplay that I've done and yeah just everything and my plan and how, how that, that plan is going for me so like basically the first thing I did when I dinged uh, level 60 was looking through auction house buying like a few pieces of gear uh, some blues and stuff like that like BOEs just so I could like tank the actual like current dungeons like uh, Stratholm and uh, Blackrock Depths and all of those just so it would be easier and like not coming in there like not geared at all pretty much because I was like I, I need the coins uh, like to do the coin runs and everything like as soon as humanly possible pretty much and there's still pieces in there that was upgrade even though I had bought like gear from the auction house it was still like even even like how should I explain it? Yeah, like if you're playing classic, you know perfectly well that some pieces are actually like better, even though they're lower levels because of the effects and everything on them. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear everything, and uh, yeah, um, I've been super lucky because uh, let's actually go over to let's do like this. Uh, let's go over to my bank because I've been super lucky with drops because I haven't done I haven't done the dungeons that much. I've like do, done like two strat homes and maybe three uh, black rock depths. But like the first run, I was like in black rock depth. I was super lucky with with uh, with the drops. It, it was like it, like. It felt unfair to all the other players because I, I got like one item from every single boss, pretty much. But yeah, I, I've gotten a few pieces here and there. Um, there we go, and the like girdle. Uh, it's not the best, but it was better than the one that I had stat-wise. Uh, maybe not because of the armor and stuff like that. And uh, uh, not that one... Uh, or was it? Yeah, but like, there's just nice pieces and everything. So, yeah, it, it was just nice. And I uh, finished the the quest for the, uh, what, where is it? This one, the uh, Dalton Horn with the uh, uh, squire that you can summon, like his adventure that you could take him on because of the rune and everything. So that was very cool. And I've been focusing more on runes and gear. Yeah, I haven't really done like world bosses that much because I, well, not that much. I've done it once. I've done Asigos and uh, Doomlord Kazak once. And I was actually super lucky today to win the Unmelting Ice Girdle, uh, which was the one that I soft reserved. So I'm very happy with that. So I actually got an item. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And yeah, I've been doing uh, just pretty much everything. And I thought I change like talk about like what one one plan I have in mind, like what's the step towards it is. But I'm working on a well. I, I I'm not sure if there's actually other people out there that has tried this. Probably like similar things, but not. Um, not the way that, like, maybe in a little bit of a way that I'm considering to do this. But I'm actually working on trying to build a Thorns Paladin. So basically what, what that means is that whenever some, someone is hitting me, I want them to take damage. Or, like, an effect, is, could, like, an effect could occur. So what that means is, like, I need a few pieces here and there. So, for example, it could be this uh, this one, for example. 
uh, when stuck in combat, you have 3% chance to get healed, uh, healed for six, 60 to 100. But the thing is, like, this is a cheaper one because you can actually buy... Uh, let's go to the auction house again. Because there is another chest, like, like demon something. And whenever you're uh, struck in combat, you have a chance to, like, lifesteal pretty much from that target. And I'm not sure if it can hit from multiple targets. But I, I don't think I have the gold for it just yet. Maybe I do, but I'm not going to buy it just yet. Let's go here. Plate, chest, boom. Here it is. I could actually buy it on my other character. Uh, when, uh, when struck in... When struck... When struck has a... Huh? Okay, well. Whenever I'm struck, I have a 3% chance to stealing 120 life... Uh, from the attacker over 30, uh, 4 seconds. So that's basically 30, second, uh, 30 damage a second during that time. I'm not sure if it can proc multiple times, but I mean, it, it should do. And on top of that, I have the Skull Flame Shield. That was the first thing I bought whenever I dinged. So, yeah, I, I bought it for 760 gold because the last levels I... I've been farming, like skinning like crazy um, for like the first few hours. Well, not the few hours, but I, I had gold on my other character, like my druid, that is my bank alt. It's level 30, uh, no, 29. But I like I have gold there, so I, I bought, I sent the gold over and just bought it. And I bought a few pieces here and there. And there is... Um, this is another one that I got from Black Rock Depth, which is something that is not much, but it's something for the just the concept art of this. So it says, when uh, when struck in combat, inflicts three arcane damage to the attacker. And it says when struck. It hasn't any specific like chance to it or, or anything like that. So basically, it's like three free damage whenever you're attacked. And it also has increased damage. Uh, damage by five per five so i mean and with the new this is my dps uh, version but in here you can see um on the bottom of the holy tree and uh, uh, protection three on holy shield you, it at the bottom it says activating holy shield also grants uh, you two spell power for each point of your defense skilled beyond 300 so i mean it's like the more defense you have, the more less damage you're going to take. And also, the more damage you're going to do, in a sense. So, obviously, we want that. So, I was very lucky to get this one on the first one. Because this is an item I really have been trying to get. And let me show you that there is another item that I'm actually after. Not that many people are running it, though. But in Dire Mall East, I think. Yeah, here, here it is. From the last boss... You actually have the Razor Gauntlet, which is another one of those pieces when it says, when struck in combat, inflicts three arcane damage to the attacker. So that's another thing. Like, with that one and the ring, now we're up at six. So my plan is just to keep going like this. And whenever I block with this one, I have Thorium Spike. So that's 20 to 30 damage. And then you have the 1% uh, <clears throat> chance of dealing... 75 to 125 fire damage to all targets around you. So if I'm going to be like in a lower level dungeon or like in cathedral and stuff like that, doing huge pulls, uh, if I'm lucky and I have a lot of mobs on me at that prox, that's a lot of damage on everything. So, and it's, it's a heal as well for the 35, so that's nice. And let's check the auction house because there's an, one more item that I want to buy, but not just yet. It's this one. Let's see here. It's a bit expensive, but I really want it, though. Maybe later. Deal five, 5 fire damage to anyone who struck you with a melee attack. So, that's 5 more damage on top of that. And since we're, I mean... With the with the thing though that I'm like trying to accomplish, uh, oh wait, there, there's one more thing uh, uh, thing I forgot. 
I need to level my enchanting because I found something rather interesting. If we go to chests, I think it. Oh no, here. Um, um, here it is. Teaches you how to permanently enchant a piece of chest to reflect 9 damage back to the attacker when the wearer is struck in melee. So that's another thing I really need, uh, want to learn. I'm not sure if this, like a, if this is a drop from Gnomorgan. I have to look that up, but it might be. But yeah, I just want to learn it and try it out because that's 9 more damage. And I mean, we're Paladin, so we can use Retribution Aura. And we have so much stuff that we can do with it. And then I, the first thing I bought with coins was the Librem of Devoted. Because your blocks restores 2% of your total mana. And I play Tank Paladin a little bit differently than what the, a lot of builds I've seen. Mine is maybe not the best compared. But... My build is like, I never want to be Oom. Like, never, ever, ever, ever. So, like, I want to be able to spam da damage and everything. So, whenever I'm tanking in dungeons, obviously I have Hand of Reckoning. Because it's, like, more threat. And it also, at the bottom, it says, like, uh, um, healed by others equal to 25% uh, amount healed. So, like, you get mana back while getting healed and you're tanking. And this one is like man percentage base. So your block restores 2% of your total mana. And I have divine intellect from the intellect, uh, the holy tree. Just because I have 10% more. So that's just... Way, like, it's, it's just more mana basically whenever I'm blocking. And I'm blocking a lot in my tank version because of holy shield. So... Usually when I'm tanking dungeons, like usually when I'm actually tanking dungeons, I try to do bigger pull, like as big pulls as I like can pretty much. So is it this one? Hmm. There we go. But yeah, it's just a quick little update on my what my plan is and how everything is going. And like I said, I've been working on I, I, I have been working on runes and gear more than like raiding and everything because I want more runes. I'm still missing a few, but I also joined a new guild called Nox, I think. Yeah, it's Nox on uh, uh, on um, Living Flame EU Alliance. It feels like a pretty good guild. I've been in Discord chatting with them and done like two Blackrock Depths with them. So that was very fun. And yeah, it was just nice. And uh, uh, they want me to tank for them. <laughs> so I I'm going to try to get the time to do that. But I need to do the attunement also. So I've started with the Onyx attunement. So I'm at the part where I have to talk to this guy, the true... Uh, in the chain, it's uh, the true. The I think it's like the second one in the true masters. And the thing is, I've actually never done the Onyx attunement. Isn't that kind of insane? Um, I've done Onyxia in TB in uh, like Lich King, so like I know the mechanics, but I never done it in classic. So I'm gonna try and do that, and just keep on gearing and yeah, just everything. So, yeah, just a small little update on how, on how everything is going. And my next video is uh, going to be a skinning tip that is really relevant now in Phase 4. More than I think most people think. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, a small update. I'm just rambling on, like more like a vlog and life update and everything. And I haven't been, I haven't been gaming this this weekend because I've been on like I've been taking care of my wife's sister's dogs over the weekend so we've slept uh, over at their place and just yeah just been with the family and everything so it's been awesome and uh, yeah I am um, if you click on this video you can see a video from the past and also the video over there so 
either shoes, choose whatever, whichever one you'd like. But I know that I'm gonna greet you there with a Bork Bork. And uh, hope to see you there. And if you felt like this is helping you, click on the like and subscribe and share to a friend. Uh, not that I'm sharing anything specific though, but yeah. But click on any, any of those videos and I'll greet you over there with a Bork Bork. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye!